Hey guys, Hammer7 Junior over here today and welcome to Astronia. Guys, in today's episode, they have released the 1.5154 experimental update. And what they've gone and added is they've decided to uh, say, okay, well, cool, we are all struggling to explore in the beginning of the game. So I think it's a very good update. I think what they've gone and done is they've added the small printer. You don't need to go and research that anymore. And they also included the vehicles bay that is based on your starting modules that you're allowed, guys. And just to prove to you that I haven't gone and researched anything, I'm only allowed to be building the printer, the smelter, which is over there, the vehicles bay, which is over there, and the research module, which is over there. And guys, let's get on with it, guys. I went just into a cave quickly and um, got some malasite ore and laterite ore and put it in the smelter to get the required copper and aluminium so let's go and build the printer there guys and then we can see what else they have included in these modules because these modules also include certain things oh i like the new look of that printer so let's just wait for that to charge up um hopefully it gets enough power by the time the sun goes down but it should we should be safe yes okay cool Guys, so as you can see, the uh, small printer, they also have included a small seat. And guys, the vehicles bay have included a small rover chassis. So they obviously want you to, they want to encourage you to be able to explore um, the the land, whatever you with a small rover. So that I think that's a nice little little update. Um, let's just gather some power here so we can power that um, vehicles bay up, guys. And the other thing what I've noticed is that. How nice is that? I've literally spawned next to a one of those unlimited power things. So if I do run out of power, then I can just do that, farm that, and then viola. So guys, um, if you guys are wanting to expand your bases or start a new base, then try and find a base near one of those things. Um, by the looks of it, guys, as you can see, the small rover chassis requires some compound, and it also needs some resin. So let's just go look for some compound sorry not resin my bad uh we need resin just to expand the base sorry um let's go look for compound there's resin there's compound okay here we go now hopefully there shouldn't be any power struggles okay guys so we now have the six uh compound as you can see over there one two three four five six whatever and we're gonna make the small rover which is the only thing we can get in the vehicles bay by the way and let's build a seat while we are at it as well. So let's build that seat and then we build a rover. Guys, I really like this update. I like what they've gone and done is like, it's so intricate. It's so delicate that we started out small and we feel like there's some sort of progression to the game. It's not just like wham, bam, and now you can't, why is that, there we go. And you know, so you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So let's see uh, what this goes and does. I think let's build a, some sort of solar panel. Well, let's build two solar panels just for the back of the rover. And then when once we get exploring, we can probably go and look for some research and stick it on the front there so that we can um, get some new modules for the base, guys. But um, other than that, that is actually all for the update. Except for the, the other fixes, what they've gone and done is they've added player color suits, which means that um, when you're playing multiplayer, um, there was an error that went by that said... Uh, uh, when you load it in, it just changed your suit. So now you'll stick with your original suit that you selected and there won't be any problems with that. As well as, I don't know what this is, but there was a deadly heat-seeking storm. And they've gone and fixed that, guys. If you have any um, information on that, please leave down in the comments below because I'm unsure of exactly what's going on there. Let's have a research and see what this has to offer. Maybe we get lucky and we get some dynamite. If we don't, then it's all right. Please be done, Matt. Narrow mod. Okay. What's a, what's a narrow mod? Oh, guys, I just realized, you know, the narrow mod, I think that's got to do with the uh, terrain tool. Maybe that's got to do with the terrain tool. That is so cool. Uh, what do we need? We need some copper. Okay, so we're going to need some of... Uh, no, 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 no. Okay, guys, as you can see, the rover is charging up nicely, so we will soon be able to go out on an adventure. Uh, guys, the smelter is still very buggy. 
Um, in my personal opinion, I think they should add two more slots here because what happens is if these are f if they're four here, then it just glitches out for some other known reason. But anyways, let's make that copper that we so desperately need for the narrow mod. I have a feeling it's got to do with the terrain tool. But let's have a look. Okay, so the... Yes, I think it's got... Yep, it's an augment. So you, that is so cool. Oh my word. Like, it's so cool. Because... There's probably some other stuff we're not even... Look how small that is. Like, it's so small. And we can actually... That is so cool, guys. You know, we haven't even covered all of the augments and what have you. So, I think I'm going to do an episode on one of those, guys. If you want me to do an episode on all the augments and what have you, then I will do that because that is very cool. So, guys, just to wrap up the, this video, what they've gone and done now is they've uh, added a vehicles bay that comes stock with your base as well as a printer that comes stock with your base. Very um, basic stuff, a small seat and a small rover. And then obviously the smelter comes stock and the research station comes stock, guys. So I really like where this is going, guys. I just want to say, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Let's try and get five likes on this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I do encourage you to do so. As I do try and release content as often as possible, guys, and meet your needs. And if, guys, you have any suggestions, please put down in the comments below. But, guys, up until next time, I will see you in the next video. Look after yourself. Cheerio for now.